hoping this is going to be a shorter video. I chat less. So I recently wanted to pick up a cheap device to perform a certain function. And uh, I was having a lot of trouble finding one. And the reason is the provider I use has uh, uses certain bands. And it's been difficult to find the kind of device I want that supports the bands that my provider uses. So in the end, I ended up with this device. And I'll, uh, I'll mention shortly what use I had in mind and what this device enables. So what is this device? This is the ZTE or ZTE Symbol 2. It is a very, very affordable uh, feature phone or dumb phone or whatever you want to call it. But it's kind of interesting because it well, we'll get to that. So anyway, so um, so this is part unboxing, part review, mini review, maybe? Whatever. Anyways, it comes in a nice little box like this. Nothing really fancy. And I'll just show you the phone. So this is the phone. Some of you might uh, get, you know, get a little nostalgic about this and like, oh, look, it's a flip phone. Well, first off, it is a flip phone. It's huge. It's a really big flip phone. Like, actually, now I look at it, you can't even see the whole thing because uh, I'm zoomed in too much. So, yeah. Oh, how about if I hold it like this? It's really big. Like, uh, I don't have a banana with me, but it's quite large. You can look online what the dimensions are, but it's quite big. It's also quite heavy. It's not a light little thing, but it's uh it's pretty slick um you can get this for under 100 bucks from your provider most likely uh, i did and as a phone it actually worked quite well but the reason i got this phone is because it has something few phones of its class and price have and that is this can be a hot spot now, you may ask, well, come on, a Wi-Fi device or Pocket Hotspot or whatever you want to call them. There's lots of names. Those are plentiful, right? Well, that's the problem. The provider I use or the provider I want to use with, with the, for this purpose. So I have, you know, I have a main, my main cell phone. It, it operates on one of the big networks here in Canada. But I also have what's called a tablet plan which is a promotional plan it's cheap it's like 15 bucks a month gives you four gigs of data doesn't support phone calls or it's not supposed to uh doesn't support text or it's not supposed to but um it's meant to be placed in a tablet now um uh, when i travel well when i commute to work or whatever like that i like i like having a backup for data sometimes something happens and i want uh, data for uh, my device uh, that's not my main provider but in addition uh, the city I live in um, the subway we have a subway here or a metro depending where in the world you are does not have cell service in most of um, well most of the stations and pretty much all the tunnels do not well none of the stations and none of the tunnels have cell service from the major providers in Canada uh, the only one, there is only one provider, they're called Freedom Mobile. They offer service within many stations on one of our subway lines. And in the tunnels, in uh, large sections of one of our subway lines. So when I'm commuting, I'm in those tunnels for long enough that it would be nice sometimes to have an internet connection. So I wanted a device where I could have an internet connection on my main phone. But I didn't want to switch to this provider because outside of that, their coverage isn't the greatest. So I have this tablet sim. Um, I wanted a device that I could use as a hotspot for my main phone. Problem is this provider, Freedom Mobile, uses um, LTE bands that are not common, well, actually not even used outside of North America, pretty much. So... Uh, you know, for those who care, uh, they use LTE bands 4, which is 1700 megahertz, and well, 21 in the other direction, band 7, which is a worldwide universal, it's at 2600 megahertz, but the problem with band 7 is it's rather short range being so high. Band 66, which is a band which is not commonly available outside of North America, 
Uh, that's also on the AWS uh, band. It's actually a superset of band 4 and band 13, which is 700 megahertz. So trying to find a wife, um, Wi-Fi hotspot that supports all those bands is really hard and they're rather expensive. This phone supports hotspotting and it supports all the bands of my provider. So that's why I have it. It's actually, you know, the same size as a hotspot. So no downside. What is interesting though, is this phone, a lot of phones in this class use proprietary operating systems or whatever you want to call them. And, um, you know, that's all well and good. But what's interesting about this phone, it's running, basically it's running Android. It's very underpowered for Android, and you can tell sometimes it's slow. And it has modifications. In fact, the manufacturer lists its OS as Linux, which Android technically, you know, it is a branch of Linux, kind of, maybe. I'm not sure uh, exactly what the details are, but, you know, calling it Linux, whatever. And as a result, this, this phone is very Android-like in ways, but it doesn't have a touchscreen. That does not. And it does not have a normal launcher. As you can see, the interface here is very feature phone-ish. I'll zoom in here a bit so you can see. Oops. Stay with me. And the biggest part is there's no Play Store. <laughs> so even if you could install an app, I'm not sure how it would work. But I might investigate that a bit more because there is something here. So if I go, so if I go to settings and you go to phone about phone, sorry. And like every Android phone out there, as far as I know, if you go down to the build number and you click that a bunch of times, it enables developer mode, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, so if you go now down to developer options, this menu looks pretty much like every developer options I've ever seen on an Android phone. Which tells me there's a lot of Android in here, I just don't know how much. So, no Play Store. As you can see, the, the apps or the, the options here are very simple. You've got, you know, your phoning, your messaging, contacts. Um, it has a media center, which it will play uh, music and video. It has a micro SD card slot, so that's cool. You can put music on here, and that works if you want to do that. It does have a cam it has two cameras. Or is it one camera? Oh, now that I look at it, it only has one camera. Right. Just that one. Um, it's poor. I, I don't remember what the specs are, but it's not great. But it works. Uh, if I quick camera. Whoops, that's contacts. Don't want that. Uh, where's camera? Oh, yeah. There's a dedicated camera button here. So if I click that, and you can tell it's underpowered, but, um, camera kind of works. Anyways. I don't really care, I didn't get it for that purpose. But going back to what I got this for, if you go, well, it does have a browser, but as you would expect without a touch screen and a really low resolution screen, it's horrible. Like it's very, very, very slow. It does work, but oh man, it's gonna take a long time. Notice there's no alphabetical keyboard. So you're back to the, you know, the old school T9 type entry. Uh, at best. Tools, you know, it has the basics in here. Uh, what is interesting is it has this downloads, right? I'm like, what the heck are you going to do with that, right? Well, I put an APK in there <laughs> to see what would happen because I figured, oh, okay, well, maybe if I, you know, download an APK, uh, will it install it? But if you click on it, it simply says can't open file. So that doesn't work. Now, I, you know, if you go to details, so you, it can read it, and it even identifies it. See, it identifies it as an Android application, but uh, it won't install it. So, what I am wondering is if I connect this to a computer and install and run, you know, APB on it, um, what will happen? I don't know. Haven't tried that yet. Uh, aside from that, you know, here's... Uh, a uh, browser for a file browser. All right, what else is there to say? Uh, not much. Uh, as I said, you know, there's not much on here. If you have any questions about it, let me know. It 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 works. This sim is not supposed to support phone calls, but 
I can actually make calls on it, so I don't know about that. Alright, and the last feature, and the reason I got this guy, is this. It's got a hotspot, so if you go into wire... I wish there was an easier way to get to it when you need it quickly, but whatever. It's got USB tethering, which I have not tried, Bluetooth tethering, which I have not tried, and mobile hotspot. So if you select that, one thing I don't like is it actually, it shows what password you have, which is, yeah, not great. It works. So if I turn that on, turning on, and there it goes. So it's ready to go. And I've used this. I've done speed tests. It works great. Um, one of the best features is this sleep policy. You can set it to never. I hate that. On so many Android devices, when you enable the hotspot, it has this uh, a, a time period where if you're not actively using a lot of data, it shuts off after a certain amount of time. This one you can set to never, which is great. Uh, the, I don't know what the battery life is like, but... Um, it's good enough for me. So, it's about all I have on this. It's a nice little phone. If you want it as a phone, that's great too. But I actually recommend it as a mobile hotspot, which you wouldn't expect. I don't know what its battery life is for that. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually ever drained it. I've left it on for a while. and I'm not sure, but... Um, yeah, it, it works for as long as I need it so far. Uh, as for the box, what else it comes with? You know, this is a really cheap phone, so what does it come with? Although, I say it's a really cheap phone. It's built well. It it it, it feels good in the hand. It's not bad. Uh, I've had way cheaper phones, way cheaper feeling phones that cost more than this thing does. As for what else is in the box, uh, you know, I don't even know. I never looked. I didn't really care. Uh... I have, it's a sticker, I, I have no idea. Why do they give you a clear circular, this reminds me of like Apple, they always give you Apple stickers. I don't know why. Alright, I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know. Uh, comes with a power adapter, how many? This is a one amp, so basically junk. A cable, if you need that. I don't know. Alright, anyways, that's it. So, have a great day, and uh, until next time. Thanks.